Allison Williams caught up with a jubilant Will Muschamp. I heard for him. You know, I just you don't want it to end in that fashion. Georgia's got a great team, well coached, a bunch of good players, and just uh, you know, I'm happy for our guys. It was a heck of a game, and I hate anyone had to lose the game. You were on the other side though of that missed field goal in overtime when you guys missed one as well. Yeah. What was going through your mind? There? I, our guys will keep fighting their ass off. It's a hell of a day to be a Gamecock, isn't it? You know, isn't it awesome? What was required of your team to come on the road without your starting quarterback for much of the second half and win? Well, we lose Jake in the early season. We lose Ryan to carry on his halfway practicing because of the hamstring. It says a lot about the culture of our program, the leadership of our program, the type of players we have in our program, and the future of our program. What does it mean to you and to this program to get this? It don't mean a damn thing victory. to me. I'm happy for our kids. <laughs> Thanks, Will. I uh, remember Will Muschamp, Kirby Smart, both defensive backs at Georgia back in 94. Then Will hired Kirby at Valdosta State. A lot of love between these two, but right now Kirby was 3-0 and against Will, but this win feels different, Chiz. Why? God. First of all, <laughs> nobody saw this coming. I mean, honestly, in the way South Carolina played, they're sp they've been so sporadic, really inconsistent, yeah. right? But what did you see today? You saw defense, and I got to give T-Rob, the defensive coordinator, a lot of credit. Him and Will, don't you know all the noise they've been hearing over the last several weeks, especially after the Missouri loss? Yeah. Remember that? They have come back and put together a defensive performance for the ages. How many people have we seen knock Georgia's offensive line backwards? How many times have we seen this much pressure on a quarterback? How many times have we seen this many forced fumbles, forced interceptions? This was a defensive performance for the ages, and it started because they love Will Muschamp. They believe in him no matter how bad it got. Mm -hmm. He never lost the locker room, and those guys played today, and they won a enormous game for Will and his tenure. What's one of the things that we've talked about when it comes to Georgia's offense all year long, though? It's been they've been very conservative. They've run the football. They haven't developed much of the downfield pass. We thought at some point in time a defense was going to force them to win throwing the football, and today. Jake Fromm did not look like the Jake Fromm we've come to, to know in this conference the last couple years, and that was because of the pressure that T-Rob's defense put on him all day long, whether it was pressure, whether it was penetration up front. You said it earlier, the defensive line, this is a defensive line that was banged up last year when these two yeah. teams played, and Georgia ran for about 300 yards against him. Total turnaround today. They limited the rushing yards yeah. and tried to force uh, Jake Fromm to beat him throwing the football, and they just didn't do it. Going into this game, Fromm had only been sacked once, zero interceptions. He threw three today. All right, overall, when you look at it, Chiz, Georgia has to recalibrate and recalibrate quickly because they've got the game against Florida coming up soon as well, too. What do you say to your team? You know, when, when you're at home, you lose a game when everyone's talking about you being one of the top five teams in the country. Well, I think you got to look at each other and say, guys, this is a perfect scenario where we just think sometimes we can roll in there, roll out the G on your helmet, baby, and everybody's going to will, right? Well, this is now a blueprint for the Floridas. For all these people that we always see Georgia, you know, what do they do? They take a game over in the third quarter and they, they wear you down because yeah. they're physical and they're big and they run the ball and all those things and they're efficient. Today is a blueprint for everybody moving forward, CB, because they got beat today. Yeah. They got beat in every facet of the game. And uh, it's uh, it was pretty amazing. It's just, uh, you know, me, Dorian and I do a, a, a radio show on Sirius XM this week. I said, you know what? Weird things are going to happen between Georgia and South Carolina. I felt that way. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.